Hey guys, welcome back to Bridal Sewing Techniques. And as you know, sewing supplies are often overpriced. So I wanna share with you today a sewing supply haul from a hardware store of all places. Let's just dig right in and see everything I found. Now for many of these items, we will not be using them the way that they are labeled. And I will get to that later in the video. I'll show you some unconventional ways to use hardware supplies for sewing. Sewing. but let's start off with this first thing these are nippers I got them for a whopping 75 cents a piece and they are razor sharp so this is an item that we are definitely using on label and I love them what a steal I got all of these supplies at a haul from Workshop Tools in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. I love to stop by there, but I want you to think outside of the box for your own sewing supplies. Next, I'm showing you their badge reels. I don't use them for badges here at the shop. I use them to attach thread nippers to so that we can kind of wear them on our shirt or our sewing bag so that we can nip threads on the fly when we are working with brides in the front room. So there you go, badge reel. Now, another way that you can use this that could really be on brand for you is use that front flat facet to apply maybe some Cricut vinyl or some type of branded thing that has your logo for your sewing business in there. It will look super professional and your clients and you will love it. Next up are these super sharp fine point embroidery scissors. I love them and they ring up also at only $2.49 a pair. You know the cluster of cords that we deal with around our sewing machines. They don't need a lot of power, but we need a lot of outlets. This also has the USB 2.4 charger points so you can use your fast chargers with those this was a great deal at ten dollars and 97 cents you guys know how i highly recommend a sound rigging system so that as a sewist you can put in those long hours without risking injury well they have a six pack for a dollar 99 that's amazing for $4.99, I scored this handy dandy screwdriver flashlight. It has eight different heads on the screwdrivers and it is lit for the times that we were having to crawl around under our machine to make adjustments. Carabiners, 99 cents each. I must confess, I picked up two of these. They are LED work lights, 1500 lumens, and they were only $29.95. What I like about this is it has the swivel stands that are a little bit grippy, so they're very secure, but they also have threading to where you can hook them to a tripod mount so you can have them on a stand, so they're super adjustable for sewing. Here is a telescoping magnetic pickup tool for $5.99. Now they claim it can pick up to 16 pounds. Come on, is that real? I don't know. But it is telescoping and it's super handy for, you know, when you gotta play pickup sticks under your sewing machine. I can't wait to show you how I use these and what a great price, 99 cents a piece, these pulleys. And what I love about them is it's like the outer casing of them are almost like a die cast. So there's no sharp edges. So I don't have to worry about them damaging my gowns at all. So I'm going to show you how I work these into my rigging system. And then I've got one more awesome tool that I want to share with you. As you can tell, my system is very adjustable. I have a series of chains, S-hooks, carabiners, ribbons, veil and accessory clips. I'm going to show you how to add a pulley to the works. So basically, you're going to snip both edges of the length of clothesline rope that you want. And obviously, you're going to want to double the length of how, how far of a drop that you want. So I just use a lighter and I heat seal the tip of the rope. After we apply the flame for a few seconds and it cools, I just kind of um, squish the ends, I guess you could say, into a nice, neat tip that can easily be fed through the pulley and will not fray. Next, you will put a large, sturdy knot at both ends of the clothesline line rope making sure that one end has a large loop now attach your pulley to your chain using an s hook 
You can now easily raise and lower the gowns with very little physical strength required. Now we have one last step to hold the gowns in place after you raise them up. You'll either have another S hook attached to the other end of the rope for you to attach to a link of chain in your rigging system, or you can also anchor a wall cleat that you can wrap the rope around like a drapery pool. This next tool is a hardware sewing supply mashup piece of bliss. It has a super strong magnet and you can make the neck kind of turn whichever way you need. And I am definitely gonna be using this for some of my vintage sewing machines that don't have a light.